Danielle Kennedy woke up in scrubs, her arms tied down. Where am I? The doctor was reading things off on a checklist, unintelligible to her in her state. My head, it aches. The next, you won't know. You are getting old, after all. This is what you signed up for. Who is this? Look, you will live on. Your family. It's like they never even lost you. What? Don't worry. The next one will get another few years. I felt a prick in my neck, and then I was gone. I woke up, bright and refreshed. I felt like a brand new person altogether. Man, they weren't kidding when they said that they'd change you. I stood up and my legs shattered. It's like they were made out of ice. I screamed and I screamed. Blood was everywhere around me. Pain was the only thing I knew. Adrenaline pumping into my system, trying to keep me from going into shock. I started crawling to nowhere, just away. My throat ached and burned. My body was shaking from the pain. My cries went silent, and my throat raw and bleeding from the shouting. My arms were burning, but I had to get away. My legs were dragging behind me, leaving a solid trail of blood and tissue. I made it to the door, to my room, and I reached. But then my arm collapsed. I was dead. Another Danielle Kennedy was pulled from the bag. This time, they were careful to let it defrost fully before reanimating it. The real Danielle has been dead for ten years. Her brain kept in a jar to get her memories for the next clone. Before her death, she signed up for the next program. She didn't want her family to know that her cancer was terminal and that she only had two years left. Unfortunately, her illness meant every clone had two years before it had to be replicated. Danielle was placed in bed. Her predecessor scraped off the floor, her blood wiped up and disposed of. In a few hours, she would wake up and stretch, feeling better than ever before. As the slogan goes, it's not the new you, it's the next.